got is a I, not IBM, a Lenovo ThinkStation E31. We just picked up three of these for a client down in Colorado Springs. We're setting them up for them. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. I don't have a tripod today, so forgive me. I'm having to do this with my uh, Droid Alter phone. We also ordered a memory expansion kit for this. Uh, the client ordered all this through CDW. And also, something I hate, the uh, display port adapters. Can't stand these things. So, let's get this thing opened up. Right. Systems are packed pretty well. Board. Mouse. Power cable. OS uh, CDs. These come with the Windows 8 software, but uh, these came preloaded with Windows 7 Professional for this client. And there's the system. These things lift right out of the box. You can use, and I couldn't do it while I was recording, but you just grab your hand in here, and you'll notice there is a handle on the system right here. And you just lift it straight out of the box. They come out real easy. There's the new box. These things are easy to move around. I kind of like a couple design features on these. You've got a handle on the back. Also got a handle on the front for carting things around makes it really easy to slip them in and out of desks. On the back of the system, you got a power supply, you have a serial port, VGA. This is the new display port video adapters. I don't like these things. Uh, they're a pain. you got to buy an extra cable for them. Nobody's including a cable. And the cables are around 20, yeah, right around 20 bucks. You can get them cheaper, a little more expensive to name where you go. It's got uh, four USB 3 ports, two regular USB 2 ports, Ethernet, and sound card built in. On the front panel, we've got our DVD, uh, reader, writer, and we got the USB multi combo hub for all your uh, flash cards, that type of thing. A couple USB ports on the front, headphone, and a mic jack. They've got pretty good cooling system in these, lots of breathability. Popping the case open on these is pretty easy. We've got a couple of thumb screws. before you just press this button in and pull this and the case slides off. These came with uh, four gigs of RAM and then I'm going to throw another four gig chip in there to get us up to eight gigs. So we got some Kingston memory for this four gig chip. What you can't see is that I'm physically touching the case right now as I'm doing this uh, to keep from getting a static charge through here. I don't think I can do this one-handed. Um, we've got a green, blue, green, blue. Your memory, you want to match up. So I'm going to flip those ears out. You've got a, a notch right here and your memory chip connects with that or lines up with that I guess would be a better way to put it and it is firmly pressed straight down on that and those ears as you can see have popped right back in real simple you just want to remember the whole time I've been doing this I've had my arm touching the uh, case to keep grounded. You can also use one of the wrist straps with, with a clip, but I find that awkward. I'd rather just keep a body part touching the case so that I stay grounded that way. Now I'm going to slide I'm going to slide this lid back on. There's little units here. 
and there's keys on the case. They just slip together. And it clicks right back in. We're nice and stable now. This is the uh, display port to VGA connector. Comes with a nice little rubberized piece of junk on the end. This guy plugs in right here. And it's got a clip on there to keep it from pulling out easily, but with a little bit of force, the thing comes right out. So be careful with those. And this one is uh, display port to VGA. You can get display port to DVI and, and probably to HDMI too. I haven't bothered checking into that or not. But I'm sure you could probably get that as well. It's just an extra expense when you buy, you know, you buy a PC, it'd be nice if they included the cable to connect it to your monitor. I'm going to plug my mouse and keyboard into the USB 2.0 ports. Uh, this machine will have two monitors connected to it. This will run two monitors. It's, you can do a dual display with this system. So uh, when this gets to the client's desk, it will have two monitors on it. So that's why I'm connecting up here. I'm going to get this thing fired up, set it up. And we're booting. It is only a Core i3 processor. This thing is probably good only for office work. I wouldn't think you'd be able to run much for games on it. Maybe real simple flash animations, super simple games, little kids games. You're not going to get any power out of this thing for heavy duty gaming. It's an office machine and well, Honestly, that's mostly what we do. There's not a lot of business setting gamers up. Gamers can set themselves up. Office people, on the other hand, need some help getting this stuff running for them. So, um, in the meantime, we're all booted up. Windows 7's up and ready to go. And we're ready to set them up and get fired up. Thanks for watching.